Hi everyone, this is Caroline, always reminding you that you are created beautifully. Today is a little bit different video in honor of Father's Day. This is dedicated to all of you fathers who are there for your children, not only supporting your children financially, but emotionally, spiritually. I salute you. I lost my father back in 2009, two months before I had my firstborn son. And although I am extremely tired tonight, my heart is very heavy with this holiday and I had to record this video today. I decided that I would put a clip of my father's pictures on here with a little clip of me singing and a little clip of my sister singing. And mostly I wanted to share the speech that I said at his funeral. I think we all have a story of how much our fathers have impacted our lives. Those of you who still have your fathers around, celebrate him. Say I love you. Give him quality time. Don't let any words go unspoken. I wish you guys all a very happy Father's Day. I actually haven't seen this speech since the day of my father's funeral, but I remembered it. And so I wanted to share it here because it's something personal. I want to share all aspects of my life here on my channel. I want you guys to get to know me. And I know that this holiday is hard for so many of you who have lost your fathers. So today, I honor my father, Atelea Tanginoa Hafoka. How do you measure the greatness of a man? Is it by the degrees he has hanging on his wall or the important people he knows? Is it the place where he is from or his family of origin? Could it be the amount of houses and the cars he owns or maybe his name, titles of land or property? Is he great because of his job or his career? Or even as a pastor, the number of members he has at his church? Or maybe how many converts he can probably say he brought into the kingdom? Is he great because many people know his name? or because he is well respected among his peers? Can he only walk tall if he has accomplished his top 10 goals in life? I think greatness is a man who is able to move from the comforts of his own family to move his new family to another island, hoping for an opportunity to come to the US. A man who worked almost like a slave, starting work from before the sun came up to after the sun went down, knowing he had to do what is needed to be done to put food on the table. Greatness is the man that doesn't see household chores or taking care of his own kids as a woman's role, but more of a way to spend quality time with his family. Greatness is the man who wakes up before 5 a.m. every morning to have his prayer time with the Lord before making a hot breakfast for his wife who wakes up at 6 a.m. and then he goes outside in the freezing cold to hose his old car down because the defrost doesn't work. Who then comes home and makes breakfast for his kids while singing our names to wake us up in the morning. Anao, Galo, Alisi, Kenzo. But before shooting out the door, tells us to sit down for our morning prayer. Greatness is a man who combs his daughter's hair and before letting us out of the car to go to school, checks our faces to make sure they are clean. And if he needs to, sticks his finger in his mouth to clean gunk out of our eyes. Greatness is a man who gathers his family every night to see how their day went and to talk about recent issues like reports about bad behavior in school or to talk about how our schedules with church and school activities will go for the week. Greatness is a man who never missed any of my softball games or volleyball games growing up even if he and my mom had to cheer on my best friend, Oli, because I was busy warming the bench. Greatness is a man who invites his pastor friends for dinner, but makes sure our mom fixes our food plates first because he says we should eat before him and his friends. Greatness is a man who only finished the seventh grade and struggles to read his own Bible, but never lets this stop him from reading the word of God aloud in our home. Greatness is a man who falls asleep in a chair near his sick child to make sure he can hear them calling him if they need anything through the night. Greatness is a man who sees his kids growing up and going astray from what he has taught them and seeing them coming in at 5 a.m. from a club and not condemning them but greeting them at the door because he's already up for prayer and laying hands on them and praying out, God, I know you have a plan for their lives. Bring it to fulfillment 
and may my kids learn to trust you fully with their lives and sending us to bed with a kiss. I boast not in what my father did, but I boast in what he allowed Jesus Christ to do in and through his life. He was not perfect, and he was never afraid to admit it. He was traditional, but very hands-on with caring for his kids. He may not have lived a great life in the eyes of others, but my father was a great man in my eyes. I thank the Lord for the privilege to have the right to call Atelea Tanginoa Havoka, my dad and to be able to care for him these last years of his life. He was the first man to capture my heart, and he was the measuring stick I used in selecting my spouse. I'll always love you, Daddy, and your legacy lives on in my life. Back when I was a child Before life removed all the innocence My father would lift me high And dance with my mother and me And then spin me around till I fell asleep Then up the stairs he would carry me and I knew for sure I was loved If I could get another chance Another walk, another dance with him I'd play a song that would never ever end Cause I love, love, love to dance with my father again Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all stand in your presence to my knees will I fall will I sing hallelujah will I be able to speak all I can only imagine yeah I can only imagine God bless you. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you have, don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified every time a new video is posted.